Okay, we are off to the races. I got a full battery here. I have this uh, spherical camera attached to my head. So if you're using an iPhone or um, or if you don't have a smartphone that's compatible, but if, if you go into your Facebook app on iPhone, you should be able to see the spherical. Um, if you don't, if you have Google Chrome browser, that probably works for spherical. But we're going to see what this thing will do here. It's going to get on my pedals. It's going to be interesting to see too since it's on my head. You know, I don't have a gimbal or anything, so a lot of the the bumps on this trail are going to transfer to the camera. So you're probably seeing video shake, commonly referred to as video jello. But you may not be. Because this is the first time I filmed with this. This is a true first time field test with the LG 360 cam. Check the link within this video's description and you can find where to order it as well as accessories. And what I've done at the time of posting this, this mount that I'm wearing right now is something that I engineered for my uh, 360 that I'm wearing on my head. So it's not, it's not an off-the-shelf type solution that, that you may find, but tell me what you think. Does it work well? I mean, I know this is not, uh, this is not gimbal stabilized, but, you know, looking at where camera technology, well, how much uh, camera technology has already evolved, comparing this to a popular action camera video from a few years ago, it's amazing. Because with this, you're not, you're not watching it from a uh, static point of view, meaning that the camera is facing in one direction. With this, when you're watching it, you're seeing, you can see in real time everything that's around me. And uh, here comes a tree. Keep my head down so I don't whack it off. I don't want to break this camera. Again, this is the first time in the field with it. One of the drawbacks with this camera is that it, uh, at the time of posting this, it does not have a waterproof housing. So, you know, that could potentially be a problem. But, that's possibly something that they may release in the future. So again, it's, it's technology. You know, we've seen in the past, we've seen VR, or, well, I mean, in way back when, the virtual reality, where it was kind of like a forward-looking possibility. And now what you're seeing is the, the signal that virtual reality is probably about to become mainstream because the price of this device to be able to do this and to be able to mount it I mean it's pretty incredible and I'm just watching it right now on my iPhone 6 plus while I ride my bike but I mean it's actually uh, it's quite fascinating I can't wait to see the video I'll be careful on gravel I busted out here one day got cut up um, it wasn't fun I'll go really slow through this this stuff can turn you sideways in no time what I'm most excited about is taking this and putting it on a drone and, and why why a big name manufacturer has not created a spherical camera for a drone yet blows my mind. I mean, again, you can check the you can check the link within this video's description. You can see how affordable this is for such a uh, futuristic now. I guess I should say now futuristic technology because it's you know like anything else. There's going to be bigger and better come out, but to have one of these first cameras at this price point, 
I mean, I don't know. I mean, you tell me what you think. I mean, this is, you can see how I've got it mounted. I've got all that information within this video's description. And I plan to mount it to a variety of other things because I think that's where, where this 360 is really going to be fun. I mean, even if you just put it in a monopod, you know, a monopod is, is a good way to shoot some video. But I like wearing it because most of the time, if you're wearing a camera, if it's on your head, that's probably going to be the most stable because it's, uh, you know, you're typically, like right now when I'm riding my bike, you know, my, my eyes, I can see in front of me. And even though I may hit some bumps in the road, not as much shake transfers to my head as it does my hands and my feet. So this is probably about some of the smoothest action camera footage that that you'll see at least at this point in time with it being mounted to somebody. And uh, you know, so I'm I'm pretty stoked. And I'm really looking forward to a gimbal. When they come out with a gimbal for a um, for a spherical camera. Because what that'll do is stabilize it. You know, if you watch uh, if you watch drone videos, you'll see the ones on the Phantom 3 and the Phantom 4, how their gimbal stabilized. So with that level of stability, you know, the possibilities are somewhat limitless with this, with this new platform. See, this is a bumpy trail though. You can see, you know, you can look down at my, at my wheel and see what I'm running over and you can look to the left and the right and everywhere and see what I'm passing and what I'm about to hit. Yep, this is cool stuff. And I mean, I put a, uh, I put a 16 gig micro SD card in here. And again, you can check the link within this video's description. I've listed a link to it there. But what I'm showing, I'm showing I've been recording for seven minutes and 29 seconds. Um, and it says seven, well now it's obviously counted along more to 740, but that's out of 20 minutes. What I'm curious about at that 20 minutes is a limitation of the 16 gig micro SD card I have in there or if it's a limitation due to battery life or if it's because I'm filming there's different filming modes you can do this is 360 uh, you can do and I'll have to explore those other modes but there's like a a um, like a 180 and then 360 but this is utilizing both cameras the lens on each side of it so and see when you look at it film while it's filming like i am right now you see a uh it's like a circle but when it's actually been imported to the uh, internet you know whether it's youtube or facebook or other 360 spherical compatible host you know you'll see it like basically like you're sitting on the bike well technically it'd be like you were sitting on my head because that's where the camera is but yeah just amazing stuff again it signals where technology is heading like anything else it's not perfect yet but you know it's it's cool and I'm going to try this out again with uh we do a suction mount and drive down the street with a suction mount. Do a lot more stuff. So, again, this is uh, just one of my first, actually, it is my first video test with the uh, LG 360 cam. And again, check the link within this video's description. You can find it and then all of the mounts that I'm using you can find all of them there I like to I like to experiment with different mounting options just like I've done with with uh, popular action cameras in the past and it still blows my mind why GoPro 
is so late to the spherical camera game. I mean, they've got, they acquired Color, K-O-L-O-R, which is a uh, video stitching software company. And they've released, well, that's a topic for another video. <laughs> I don't want to get on a tangent about that, but uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash Irix guy. Y'all have a good day.